we raise our uh, animals naturally using no antibiotics and no steroids. We uh, also do not use herbicides or pesticides on the farm because we want the grass to be clean for the animals. They're all on pasture. We think it's going to be a healthier product that way. And the flavor reflects it, I think. The pork is great. That people tell us, that, you know, our bacon is fantastic. We just have really enjoyed uh, meeting so many different people uh, in what we do here. They like our steaks, they like something, their chicken, and they, they refer other people, they talk, tell their friends, they tell their family members. We raise our animals humanely, sustainably. We're very concerned for the welfare of our animals. Our farm is a grade A dairy that processes our goat milk into different products like cheese, yogurt, and milk. I really like our like our aged um, style, like farmstead cheese that we make. It's like um, similar to like maybe Gouda, but it's called South Hall because that's the community that we live in down in Franklin. And then the other thing, I just really like our plain goat cheese because you can do anything with it. It's really good with honey or preserves. Our products are considered an all-natural farmstead goat cheese, so everything that we sell is produced on our farm. So it's from start to finish is all done on our farm. We milk the goats on our farm, we make all their milk into products, and we distribute and sell them to the different stores and markets in our area. So we do have some uh, locations that are carrying our products in um, like Memphis and Chattanooga. And then there's a few places here and there, like there's a place in Kentucky that has a little shop that sells our cheese. We have a Facebook page and an Instagram page, so people can find us at, under Noble Springs Dairy on Facebook, and then they can find us under Noble Springs Goat Dairy on Instagram. And both of those are linked on our website. You can order our product off our website. You can also get our contact information, so if you're wanting to pick some product up, like at a farmer's market, you can pre-order it to make sure you get what you wanted. We have a farm, there's about, there's somewhere in the neighborhood of five to six acres of vegetables that are in production. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a CSA model farm. So they have, the people in the back here are picking up CSA shares. And this is just a market table. CSA, that's Community Supported Agriculture. It's basically helping small farmers by giving them money at the beginning of the season. And so they can kind of budget, you know, and buy seeds and do the things they need to do. We get a lot of comments from people that they really enjoy the way that our produce tastes because of the, basically we use composted manure, you know, from cows that we raise. If there's chemicals that can be detrimental to people's health in the food, then it could obviously have an effect on us. It's also really important to su support local commerce, local farmers, and that way you can have like a revitalization in rural America where people can actually own a little bit of land, grow a lot of food like this. Being outside with the seasons, working with soil, plants, and people is pretty awesome. Thirteen years ago I got very serious about keeping bees and uh, here I am today. We have clover honey, which is a sweet, traditional tasting honey. Uh, this is some recently harvested honey, very, very good tasting. And then we also have the wildflower, which is sweet, equally sweet, a little bit more robust, also a little bit more viscous. It's better for your allergies. And what's good about honey is the pollen that's inside the honey that helps you with your allergies. We also have the pollen. We use a trap and we trap out the pollen. It's a little earthy taste, but it's great for your allergies. And uh, honey sticks the kids love, they're four for a dollar. Some of them's flavored and some of them's not flavored. You need it for pollination. That's the biggest reason we keep honeybees for pollination. If you don't have pollination, one third of your crops are gonna be affected. And God knows we all love to eat. Good, good food right here at this market. We're on Facebook, Ed Johnson's Honey Farm. If you wanna know anything, just Facebook us there. What I really enjoy the most is working with the honeybees, the girls, though. So, people who know my taste come back. I have the best tasting honey in the world right here with me today. <laughs>
So the special thing about a Georgia peach is that it's grown in Georgia. It's got the heat, the humidity, that red deep clay that we have. And I mean, we've been down there for 120 years and it's one family and they just grow it with love and they put all their time and care into it. Each peach is hand picked. And I mean, we look at them ourselves and they're washed three times before they even get to the customer. And I mean, that taste, you just can't beat it. It is so sweet, it just makes you smile. Well, we go to various towns and locations, like we're in Vanderbilt, uh, for instance, right now. We'll set up a tent, table, we'll bring with us a pallet of peaches, and each pallet is 72 boxes. And we also have pecans, too, and our pecans are incredible, man. Today, for instance, we have the Alberta peach. We haven't grown this peach in 60 years, and now we're super excited about it. We're trying to get out to the public right now, and people are just falling in love with it. I like the blaze prints. I mean, they're small, they're red, very sweet taste to them, and you can just eat them whenever you want. It's, it's just a good thing to do and a great way to experience Nashville too. We are certified by good agricultural practices, which means that we reserve the right to spray our crop only if we need to. And if we do, it's the bare minimum amount. Like myself personally, I'm allergic to the pesticides that most companies spray. Like I can't eat apples, peaches, anything up in Michigan, which is where I'm from but I can eat these peaches all day long and no worries. Find us in Nashville. I mean, we're in Ohio, Kentucky. We do small town tours everywhere. I mean, come get these peaches. Try them, eat them, love them, come back, tell your friends. They're good. Everyone gets a free peach at the end of the day.